In this section, we're going to discuss the matter of insurance. What kind of insurance do you need and which one is optional? So, here's the most important part of insurance. Building and content insurance. So, a few things you need to know. Probably you are aware that mortgage providers require you to have this kind of insurance if you have a mortgage on a property. If you do not have a mortgage, it's optional. Another thing that you might want to be aware of is that AST tenancy agreements do not require tenants to cover the insured risks, which means that if a tenant has an accident in your property and sets it on fire, then the insurance, assuming that everything is fine with your insurance and the claim is valid, your insurance should cover it. Unless the tenant has done something to invalidate the insurance. If they have done something to invalidate the insurance, for example, subletting the property to another tenant, and they are the ones liable for the repair. When you get a building and content insurance, if your insurance is fine and you have your policy up to date, you do have the public liability coverage inside this building and contents insurance. So that's a really good thing to know about. Okay, and a few other types of insurance are legal protection insurance in case you need to evict your tenants, you could get this type of insurance you also have rent guaranteed insurance. The rent guaranteed insurance is a bit harder to find in our days, so I'm going to put some links, but you have to check if they are doing it right around the coronavirus times because some insurance providers are not offering the insurance. With regards to the rent guaranteed insurance, some providers also have the legal protection insurance inside this insurance. So basically, they will pay for your legal advice, but only if they think you have a chance to win because they do cover you until the tenant is evicted or until they start paying again. So, for example, the rent guaranteed insurance will pay for your rent for three or four months or as long as it takes for you to evict the tenant, not for the whole year. So. If you've paid for the insurance for the whole year, then once you have evicted the tenant, they no longer pay you the rent. Okay, and the landlord emergency protection insurance. Sometimes when you get the building and content insurance, they will give you this as a package. This is very good, the landlord emergency protection, because in case something happens in the middle of the night and uh, you are not there with the tenants if this is a rental property and you're not around all you need to do is give a call to your insurance and they should send someone straight away to solve the problem the difference between the landlord emergency insurance and the building and contents insurance is that contents insurance is a bigger insurance they cover a lot of things and that is the one you would have to contact when you have a big issue like the roof not being done properly or or anything like that that's it for this section hope you find it useful see you in the next section